keto salmon crust bacon pizza. I don't know. I smell something fishy about this. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom, and today we're eating keto salmon crust bacon pizza that made by me. So that means there's no carbs inside of this crust. And you will be amazed at how delicious it is. So I don't know if you have watched this Netflix reality show called Bling Empire. And there's this character named Kevin. I think it's his real name because it's reality TV show. But he was trying to use 23andMe to find his biological mother and father. I got the genetic test back. Do you look at it? No, no, I was gonna wait for you. Like, it finds out you're Korean, whether you're Korean, right, or right, like, right. whether you're like, like as smart as the Chinese people, or like, are you do, as... What? No, like, it doesn't say your intelligence level or anything. Chinese people are known to be like... No, like, I'm hoping it actually... <laughs> That's true! But I'm Korean! <laughs> might not be Korean, that's why you're doing this test. So I thought this is a great idea, because I also had done a 23andMe, so I'm here to share with you guys while I'm eating this salmon crust bacon pizza. With that said, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Anyway, let's eat. Ooh, check this out. Yes, it's holding very sturdy, even though it's a salmon, a can of salmon. Mmm. Wow, the crust itself is so good. It's just made of cheese, can of salmon, and also egg. The topping I have is uh, bacon and also mozzarella cheese. So. This is so fishy. I love it. So if you guys don't like the fishy taste, you can always use the can of chicken. But, hey, for a seafood pizza, this is perfect. So on this show, they were trying to bet how much percentage Kevin was Korean. I could be Mongolian, the direct descendant of Genghis Khan. Don't think so highly of yourself. We need a bet. Pick your number. 75% Korean. 76%. Here's a quiz for you. How much percentage do you think I am as a Chinese guy? I'll let you guess. Please leave in the comments right now. Don't cheat. I will review after this. Mm. Do you guys like to fold your pizza? I love it. Mm. Okay, let's reveal how much percentage I am as a Chinese guy in my blood. Okay, so here is my ancestry composition and I am actually 76.4% of Chinese. What? I thought I'm 100% Chinese because my, my grandparents were all from China. So, hmm, 76. Let's find out what else am I. Oh, I'm actually 11.8% Mongolian. No wonder I like Mongolian barbecue. I was gonna say Korean, but guess what? I'm actually 7.6% Korean. Mm. There's also broadly East Asian and Native American. Native American, really? 3.8%, wow, this is interesting. Now I gotta ask my parents, like, how did that happen? Did someone in my family married a Korean or a Mongolian? Whoa. I would never guess Korean. I mean, I guess my, my origin and grandparents were born in Shandong and Fujian. Maybe Mongolian is one of the myth and match of the past. Well, you know what? Korea is really close to Shandong, so maybe I'm gonna ask my parents. Let's see what else they have. 23andMe. 
So the DNA also can test some of the physical features that you might or might not have. Let's check some of them out. For this one, it's the back hair. Um, 76% chance you have little or no back hair. Well, I guess that means 24% that I might at least have some back hair. Um, I'm not telling you. Bald spot. So if you have bald head or whatever, 78% uh, chance you do not have a bald spot. Thank God. Chick dimples. Ding, ding, ding. 56% uh, chance you do not have dimples. 44% chance you have dimples. You know what? I found a dimple here, okay? So at least I get one, which I suppose to be like 100%. But you know, genetics. It's something that I don't understand, so move on. Oh, cliff chin. Is that like the butt chin here? 90% that I do not have it. Yep, pretty much. 10% I have. Why? I thought they're sexy though, but my family doesn't really have cliff chin. I was gonna say butt chin. It's pretty accurate so far. Oh, here's another one. Dendroff. 55% chance I have dendroff. 45% chance I don't. Actually, I have dandruff and I hate it. Oh, here's a fun one. Early hair loss. In my genetic, it predicts that 74% that I will not experience hair loss or thinning before age 40. It's almost there. So I'll let you know when I'm starting it. Okay, it's quite interesting how some of the genetics traits are just weird. Like, why would you want to test those? Earwax type. 81% I will have dry and flaky earwax. So in the future, if you want some salt or whatever, I'll just do this and there you have it. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. I'm sorry if you're eating. Oh, here's one. Eye color. 75% uh, that I have dark brown eyes. 11% I have light brown eyes and 1% uh, I have green eyes. I really enjoy watching other people with different colored eyes. Although I do like brown eyes too. It's just 1%, huh? Okay. Can you see greens in my eyes? I love keto. You get so creative with all this food. Well, this is quite interesting. They also tell you your skin pigmentation. 48% chance of light beige skin. Do I have light beige? 20% uh, chance of moderate fair skin. Nope. 40% uh, chance of light brown skin. Okay. All right. 14%. I guess I got that light brown. 10% um, olive. There you go. 8% uh, very fair skin. No. Oh, here's one. Here's an interesting one. Stretch marks. What do you guys think? I have 66% chance to not have stretch marks and 34% that I have stretch marks. To be honest, I do have stretch marks a lot when I was 250 pounds. So I know my body, okay? Oh, so they also give you a result of a unibrow. 55% chance that you have a little bit of a unibrow. That's wrong, my friend. I literally have to put some colors on my eyebrows because I literally don't have eyebrows, okay? 23% um, chance have a... Why am I so angry? This is not right. I want my refund. I don't have unibrow at all. Like, my brows literally like are very separated okay oh they also give you mosquito bite frequency report i guess this means that you are going to get more mosquito bites or not and then they have a dna result for this and apparently i am 58 percent report more mosquito bites than others that is true i am most likely if you're in the same room with me I will get bitten first. Hmm, fear of heights. I'm not fear of heights whatsoever. So let's see what they say. You are less likely than average to be afraid of heights. 
pretty much, oh, is that in my gene too? Like my gene say, like, you're not afraid of heights. You're not afraid of heights. Oh, there's also a an, an result for、uh, saturated fat and weights. Huh. Your weight is likely to be similar on diet high or low in saturated fat with the same numbers of total calories. What does this even mean? I am on keto, so I'm eating 70% of fat. But if you know what that means, please leave in the comments because I have no idea what that means. LDL cholesterol. Uh, okay, I need to pay $30 per year to actually. Read my result for LDL, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna finish my last pizza and end this video. This is so amazing. Okay, thank you for making it to this far. I mean, without you guys, I would not be able to keep my YouTube alive. So kudos to you all, and please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also leave in the comment if you want me to show you the recipe of this salmon keto bacon pizza. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.